all right y'all we are back on this game man i know it's been a while i know the channel's been seeing some crazy situations you know what i'm saying views took a massive dip uh we've been starting so many different games i've been seeing y'all comments y'all advice y'all tips all of that i've been taking it to heart i've been trying to pay attention to it and with that being said i am here for the finale of lego batman 2 so here's the thing man i actually was already planning on making one more video where i just wrap up this entire game and the reason is the other videos were getting copyright for you know scenes you know what i'm saying I, I, I can't really play the game without getting acclaim and it's one thing to have low views you know what i'm saying but i gotta at least make a one cent you feel me but i don't want to just cut this series off man so with that being said i'm gonna recap everything that happened from the last episode up into the ending i have Played it. Just gonna go over it. Let y'all know my reactions. I know it isn't gonna be the typical let's play fashion. And I apologize for the people that actually wanted to see me play this game. But I know there's other DLCs and probably other, you know, little missions. So maybe I can make random shenanigans for this game whenever we get the chance. But with that being said, let's get into the recap. All right. So where we left off, we were in Ace Chemicals, gathering all the chemicals and uh, trying to find out what they make, I believe. But we continued through Ace Chemicals, trying to escape, and we almost didn't make it out. But luckily, Superman showed up and saved us. We actually got to play as Superman, which was very fire. He could burn gold Lego stuff with heat vision, free stuff with his breath. Could also see through walls. It was pretty much like all of the bat suits, but rolled into one super character. But long story short, we made it out thanks to Superman, who had to fly off and stop a volcano in Mexico, cause you know, he got super hearing. Robin wanted to ask Superman for help in order to stop Lex Luthor, but Batman was against it. But that's when we learned that the chemicals we collected can make kryptonite. Batman was able to detect nearby sources of the kryptonite, which led to a chase mission and this was another one of them fire chase missions man we were driving our bat mobile joker and lex luther were in a big truck with a lab in it that's where they were making all of the kryptonite and all that and we had to chase them down jump on the ship or the truck i mean and take care of them unfortunately we were actually bested by the joker after he shocked us up and destroyed the bat mobile i couldn't believe that bro like honestly i know it's a lego game but no nah. after that we had to take robin's car back to the bat cave that's when we discovered that batman had hella kryptonite stored away man but once again another unfortunate situation happened where we were set up and lex luthor and joker were actually already in the bat cave or they pulled up on us and that led to this big fight in the bat cave and that was a fire mission man this whole sequence leading up to this bat cave mission was definitely one of my favorite moments but it kept getting better and in the end we were bested once a freaking game man by joker and lex luthor they ran off with some kryptonite robin and batman we were stuck in like a uh uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but we was finna die. But like clockwork, that homie Superman showed up again with some copyright music playing in the back. I was so pissed. Like, it's a fire game, but like the music never changes, bro. They, they spam the same tunes, and then I'm getting claims for scenes. Like, what? After that, Superman helped us escape the Batcave, which was completely collapsing. Another fire sequence, man. I can, I really see the, the cinematic type of style, you know, starting to grow, I guess, into the series. Like, when I think about the first Lego Batman, it was kind of, you know, very bare, not a lot going on they weren't talking but now you know what i'm saying cinematics are getting better the action the voices everything superman got us out that's when we were kind of explaining everything to him about the kryptonite yada 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 and that led to another chase mission that was freaking amazing we got to play as superman flying after the ship that lex luther and joker were on man we were shooting stuff laser beaming stuff the whole nine yards and of course throughout all of these missions we had our puzzles and figuring out stuff i got stuck a lot but you know we got through it in the end but once again Joker and Lex Luthor got away. Superman had to save Batman and we moved on to the next mission. We got a cutscene of Lex in his lab. I think this was actually one of the first times we saw Gotham in the daylight. It was only in the cutscene, but we saw him with all his workers and what they were trying to do. He knew we were coming for him. And I think he actually said Lex Luthor is expecting you. So we had to pull up. So Superman and Batman went to Lex Corp or whatever the hell it's called, man. We had to defeat all of his creations and robots. That was a fun mission. Cool seeing Batman and Superman work together, bro. I, bro we need a Justice League game, bro. Once we finally made it down to lex and joker we saw what they were really working on man it was a giant mechanical joker machine type of thing it was, it was ridiculous but they got away once again they start flying up we had to figure out how to stop them. we had another fire chase mission man playing this superman and batman batman was in this little uh flying bat uh contraption huh that was he and this time around it was actually superman that was knocked out and it was up to batman to go save him so that was cool seeing a little switch up but we put damage on lex and joker this time man their little contraption was going down they was losing altitude batman was able to save superman and we landed
landed, but his powers are still kind of depleted, you know, because of the kryptonite. Joker and that giant mech machine, man, was destroying everything. They had started another mission. Superman and Batman had to go and stop him. And I got to say, it was a lot of, you know, difficult puzzles. Not difficult, but you know how I be getting stuck on stuff. But I was able to figure out a lot of it, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's fun, you know, it's tedious sometimes because a lot of it is repetitive, but it is fun. I can say that. But Joker had us trapped down in a subway tunnel. Ham was busting through the rough, shooting at us and all that, man. It was, it was, it was heat. That led to a little train mission where Superman and Batman was on a moving train. Joker was still attacking us. But once again, he got away from us. Batman and Superman had to just continue taking the train. You know, Superman couldn't fly yet. <laughs> Long story short, we caught up with Joker, man, tried to fight him. We did a little missions, had to keep trying to weaken him, but we still couldn't beat him, man. We was getting washed. Luckily, that boy Robin came through and saved the day. It led to another fire mission, man. Like, this whole end game, like, the last couple of missions were heat. But the giant Joker Meg was chasing us through the streets. We had to shoot at him. I was getting kind of scared at some points. We caught up with Superman, who was still wounded, and that's when Batman revealed his big plan. We had cameras from all over broadcasting everything. But the thing is, the cameras could also reach space. So the freaking Justice League was able to see everything that was going on and could tell that we needed help. So they started pulling up. And let me tell you, I don't know, it felt like damn an end game or something, bro. They had little cutscenes for Flash, Green Lantern, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, everybody was just showing up. We got to play as some of the other Justice League's member in that mission, I think it was called Wayne Showdown or something like that, trying to make it up to the top and reach Mech Joker. We finally did, we fought him. Green Lantern was the freaking MVP. His little flight missions were hard. We were able to finally put damage on this dude, Joker. Got him down to the ground, had a little squad pose team up thing that was he but we continue to fight joker and we finally put him down for good unfortunately lex luther was still out and about he had his own mech machine he came out blasted the whole like last couple of boss battles felt similar to galactus and superhero especially with uh mecha joker lex was kind of easy to deal with but you know me you know i kept getting bodied flash was fun to play as man he was similar to quicksilver and i guess i should say quicksilver was similar to flash since i think the lego batman games came first no martian manhunter was up still in the satellite i think he was trying to uh shoot a beam down to hit lex but he couldn't get it he got mad I, I honestly didn't know what the hell happened with that but in the end we beat the brakes off lex luther had another pose up and that was the game gordon thanked us everybody had the little speaking roles but then we got hit with the end credit and i'm pretty sure that this third game is gonna be about that i haven't heard much about it but that little last scene we saw boy now let me just play it Brainiac, Brainiac. I'm kind of tired of dude. I'm going to be honest. You know what I'm saying? When I played the Injustice games, there he was. Suicide Squad. You know, he's still here. 13 of them. Now we about to finally meet up with him in the Lego games. But hey, it was cool to see. We know we're going to be messing with a serious threat in that third game. But that was Lego Batman 2. Definitely a fun game, man. I can confidently say that this and Lego Marvel Avengers were my favorite Lego games so far. Can't wait for Superheroes 2. I can't wait for uh, 3. I think it's called Beyond Gotham. And that title makes sense now since you know Brainiac is coming but need to play those two games and super villains and once we get through those we'll be done with the lego games for now i don't know if i'll come and do incredibles and star wars and harry potter and all that maybe in the future but lego batman 2 was fire man i'm actually going to take a small break from the lego game so we can focus on stellar blade since it's a new game kind of want to prioritize that especially if it does well we can keep that up man while trying to balance star wars jedi survivor because i never want to go over two games at a time you know i, I said this plenty of times before in the past but trying to juggle multiple let's plays just don't work for me so i'm gonna try to keep it up with just one at a time man and we're just gonna keep pushing through but this game was fire i'm sorry i couldn't you know record it regularly but regardless i hope y'all enjoy if you did do me a favor hit the like button subscribe if you're new hit the bell so you know when i'm posting man share the content share the channel do all of that i'll see y'all in the next one it's your boy kai smg peace